Hello everyone, we are in car reviews and today we're reviewing Insidious 2. I got James and Juan here and uh, let's just bombard our way right in. So what did you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think overall I liked it, but there's a lot of things that James Wan does that I don't like. Hmm. So you're crazy. This was the stupidest shit I've ever seen. I, I totally liked the first one, and I'm gonna kind of ignore the fact that there was a second one. But That's weird because I totally I don't. Yeah, like the, the first exact one. opposite. Yeah. yeah. Everything about it was just so boring. Huh. And then there was like a couple scary parts when I had sandbag head, and I was like, oh god, and it like mm -hmm. made me jump just because it was loud. Yeah, there was one but part that literally, made me jump. No parts were scary to me. Yeah. And I watched Insidious, the first one in the theater, and it there was a lot of parts that made me jump because I just, I hadn't seen a James Wan movie like that before, mm -hmm. and, you know, it was loud, and I don't know, just, it was a good experience the first time. Yeah. So, I mean, re-watching the first one again before this one, I was like, okay, you know, it's not that, that bad, but still, in contrast, considering we watched it last night, and then I just, mm -hmm. in my opinion, I just don't think it, it was it was very good at all. Good. He should have just left it at one or just done a better job, I don't know. Nothing scared me. I don't, did you get scared at all? No. Or well, there all? was the one part where I did jump, yes. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't hold that against scary movies. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of uneasiness, I guess, mm -hmm. that was there. But yeah. I, I think that's because I was paying attention to like all the camera angles that he does. I felt like every time they showed the house, it was always at an angle. Here's my <sighs> thing with the movie, I think. <sighs> I had seen the first one, and that was my first James Wan experience. And I think that that Insidious stands out as one of his movies that's like different from his other ones. It's not like an exact thing, you know? They're all kind of different, and mm -hmm. they all have different styles, and this one had a very unique style, and I liked it. In the second one, he did like nothing to change his style. So it was like all the shit that you had mm -hmm. seen before, but in abundance this time. Like I told you, like when we were taking a piss after the movie, I'm like, dude, throughout the whole movie, there's squeaky doors. Like obviously that's a scary movie thing, but there's a cluster in the middle of the movie. It's like one frame, someone's like, and then like they'll take like two steps or whatever. And then it'll cut to like whatever the other person's doing. And they're just like, <laughs> Cuts to like Joe Blow like looking at a doll and then he'll just like the camera like pans out like this and you see behind him a door And I'm like, okay, dude, I got it. I, I get it. You don't use WD-40 on your doors Like I get it like that was his thing like he was yeah, holding on to that that being the scary part and the little chime that you hate I actually started to hate now James Wan yeah, does I don't this like that the... Yeah, he does like the heavy piano crash and then the like violin -y. Well, when just on a scary when moments. Insidious comes up on the screen, that is obnoxious. Like I don't, I didn't mind the it, and I definitely don't mind music. it for like the titles, and I didn't mind it at all really through Insidious One. I was like, oh, in this movie, since there was like nothing else, and I was just bored mm -hmm. the whole time, that shit got on my nerves. Just every time there'd be something uneventful that was supposed to scare me, and it didn't, and then. I'm like, I don't stop, yeah, stop. It was, it was like with the doors. And then another thing is, is like, it was, he opened the, the old bag of tricks, didn't do anything new. And then you had a very uninspiring, like villain to me. Spoiler alert, I don't, I don't know if you care, but it's old lady from the first one. That was the least interesting bad guy slash spirity thing mm -hmm. from the first one. And they chose to roll with that as their main bad guy for the mm -hmm. second one. You say what you want about demon guy. A lot of people didn't like Darth Maul from the first one. I did. Watching it the, the first one again, I get it's cheesy and he looks kind of fruity, but it's still like, I don't know, dude, just with the mix with the angles and the, how he like makes the crackling mm -hmm. noises when he's like off screen. Yeah. And how he looks is just in a sense scarier looking than that stupid old lady. It's just like, I've seen that before. I've seen the lady in black. All right. I've seen that shit. I've seen the grudge. Mm -hmm. I've seen all the, oh, the creepy bride in the veil. It's just, mm -hmm. that's not. It's done. That's been done before. The first Insidious to me felt a little original. The acting, it was fine. And when it wasn't fine, it was really cheesy. Because I'm reading a lot of reviews and watching a lot of reviews. People were saying that there were better character performances with in the second one. And I actually totally disagree. I felt like everyone was trying to overact. You know what I'm talking about? The, ma yeah. the main guy. Yeah, well, he see. was just infected by the old lady, mm -hmm. you know, spirit. Like in the end of the first one, you find out that she gets inside of him. And he just tries to act creepy, you know, he wasn't creeped out really. And he's like, 
running around or whatever being all evil and such mm-hmm. i just oh, wilson mm-hmm. was trying to be all like, like jack nicholson from the shining but I know. running around breaking down doors it's just like i was like the shining that's that's the shining that's what you're doing there and then the two nerd guys did you like the two nerd guys mm-hmm. you did yeah yeah, and I liked him in the, I liked them in the first one, and I didn't like them in the second one as much. They were funny. They played off of each other in the first one. They were giving mm-hmm. each other crap, and there was almost like none of that in this one. And then they introduced the new guy, the psychic lady's mm-hmm. friend. He's an older guy. Actually, that was kind of one of the okay parts of the movie was like that guy and his like dice. I didn't think it would be I, like that's how boring this movie was to me. I liked mm-hmm. the guy's dice. Another thing that I thought was weaker about this movie was the further. I liked the further in the first one. And then in this one, it was just uninspiring. Like, I didn't like it. And there was a couple scenes where you find out why the Black Bride Veil, whatever the hell she's called, Mm -hmm. is the way she is. Like, Mm -hmm. I snapped completely out of the movie when they did this, the one scene towards the end. I'm like, this is such bad acting. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I did hear chuckles in the background. I don't know if you heard. I I liked it. I enjoyed this one more because I, I kind of like getting backstory. Stuff in this movie intertwines with stuff in the first movie, and it's like they made it believable in this movie, but I don't know if we went back and like compared the two mm-hmm. scenes playing yeah, the whole time. Yeah, it was neat when they were like, hey, this is why. I was and like, that's cool. how they left it off at the end of the first one, you, you know that he's infected. It's cool to see how the the wife reacts to knowing that because she picks up the camera mm-hmm. and then he puts his hand on her shoulder and he goes, I'm right here. And then it ends. And then that's like where this movie picks up. I mean, I like that because I like to see what their ideas are for the thing. And then I thought I thought the the guy, whatever, Wilson, I think he did a good job. I wasn't getting the feeling that you were supposed to feel that he was like creepy. You just were supposed to know that it wasn't him by the way that he was acting, you know, when mm-hmm. she like played the song or whatever and he was like Dude. no nobody nobody's acting really took me out mm-hmm. all of the further scenes were stupid to me mm-hmm. i mean like but i liked them, like them the but like place? they were they were stupid mm-hmm. the only part i did like about the movie besides the dude's dice was the end kind of sets it up for another one and in the way that it sets it up for another one it was bringing back a part of the first one that i liked that they left out of this one I think it is anyways, because it doesn't, you know, it's kind of like a, yeah. it's kind of like a spoiler free ending where it's yeah. like, oh, like the end of the first one, where they like cut it off too fast before you can see. So you don't know, but you're, you're like, oh, I think I know where they're going with that. Hmm. So yeah, I don't know. I, I won't buy it probably at all. I wouldn't go see it. We saw it matinee. I wouldn't do that. Uh, I'll probably give it a six out of 10 freaking Darth Maul heads. I did not like it at all. That's an F. That is an F for me. Anyways, what did you think? Uh, I liked it overall, but I couldn't tell you why. With Insidious, there were a lot of things that were done that I didn't like about it. And then like in this one, they were pretty much there again, but for some reason I liked it. I'd probably just go see it for matinee. I wouldn't pay like these people right now are. I wouldn't pay full price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's my thing. All right, guys. All right, guys. We're in car reviews. In car reviews. Like. Subscribe. Meow. Comment. Scare us. Scare us with Go scary comments. Go see it. Comments. If you see it, tell, tell us, us if, what you think. if you uh, agreed with any of our points, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Tell us what you think. Yeah. And here's my butt. <gasps> you got to earn that. Hello everyone, we are in car reviews and today we're, 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 we're reviewing and I didn't, I thought that the, he was, I thought, uh, uh. back to Wilson, <laughs> back to Wilson's acting when he was like all possessed by a she devil, like I, stupid people don't know we're filming.